today at At Home with Miss Joan, we're going to take two ingredients, make the most wonderful meat dish you've ever had. It's called coffee ham. <laughs> That's right, coffee ham. What you do is, I had this ham in my freezer, and I'm hoping it's going to fit in my crock pot. <laughs> He's still frozen. All right. Put my ham in there. That is a just a shank ham. I think it weighed 5.6 pounds. And then you just brew you a cup of coffee, a pot of coffee. So I have brewed 12 cups of coffee. And all in the world you do. I mean, this is hard. You don't even have to take notes. You just pour that pot of brewed coffee over the ham. Oh, I got this recipe from Amelie Brennan. She's been going on to be with the Lord for many years now. But oh, she at church, she just kept saying, Miss Joan, Miss Joan, you got to try coffee ham. You got to try coffee ham. The way preacher loves ham. Y'all, I mean, isn't this hard? That is all in the world you do. You put your ham in the pot. You pour a, a pot of brewed coffee over it. And then I'm doing it in my crock pot. Now, you could put it in your oven, let it cook all on a slow temperature all night. I'm going to put it in my crock pot. And I'm going to... Oh, it may cook all night. I'll get back with y'all, but that is it. We're going to cook it essentially until it just falls apart, and we'll have some delicious ham for sandwiches to cook, warm up for breakfast, or serve as the main course, whatever. Two things, coffee, ham. I'll get back with you, and I'll show it to you when it gets done. Okay, y'all, here it is. Hey, I was in such a hurry this morning. I didn't put my apron on because my daughter's going to take me junking or at least to a special sale that's in another town. I didn't want to take time to get my apron on. I'm so excited. If I buy something, get a good deal, I'll show it to y'all. But remember the, the coffee ham, where we just took a pot of coffee and poured it over a ham and put it in this crock pot? Now, I will say, I put it in this big crock pot over here. But as it cooked down, I pulled the bones off of it when I saw it was good and done and just lowered that down into one of my smaller pots. You can see the coffee. See? How dark that is where we poured the coffee over it. Now, if you grew up eating red-eye gravy where they would fry ham and they'd take the ham grease and they'd put a, a coffee in it and stir it up, and that was their gravy, and it was called <laughs> red-eye gravy. And it, oh, some people really loved it. But with this right here, I want you to know that I cooked it. I let it cook all night in the crock pot, okay? So, but this was a fresh ham. We had bought a pig, had it processed. So this is a fresh ham. So if you get one at the store and it's uh, cured or sugar cured or something like that or pre-baked, then it's not going to have to cook near as long as mine did, okay? But I just let it cook on low for, uh, like I said, a good 24 hours. And it has literally just fell apart. Look at these good bones. You think, Miss John? But you can actually cook these bones and a lot of the nutrients will come out of and make you some bone broth. It's supposed to be real healthy for us. So I wanted to show you all the, the bones that come out of that big ham piece that you saw. But what we've got here to eat is this ham. And see, watch, I can stick a fork in it and it just comes apart. See it? It just comes apart. Why well, preacher's going to have a fit. He's going up to the hunting club because, oh, it's that time of the year to start. But look at this. It's just falling apart. And he'll take it out. And Well, we'll probably make some hot biscuits. <laughs> we'll go with this. And it'll be really good. But you could put this on a big bun, a big sandwich, and have you a good sandwich or just lots of things you can make. Did you know you could make a ham pot pies just like you could make chicken pot pies? So there's lots of ways that we're going to use this. But like I said, my friend Amelie, who'd been going on to heaven for several years, she stayed after me and stayed after me till I made preacher a coffee ham. Two ingredients, ham and a pot of brewed coffee. And let it cook till the ham falls apart. And see what you think about it. And let me know. Chime in down below and let me know. But anyway, I've enjoyed uh, bringing all this to you today. This very simple meat dish from here at At Home with Miss Joan. At home with Miss Joan, would you like? You know, whether you like it or not, okay? At home with Miss Joan, please subscribe. Sure does help this old girl's channel grow. Would you share with friends and family?
family. You know, like your mama and them, okay? Comment right here and you'll hear back from me. You know, preacher, get back with you, my daughter, me, somebody will right here from at home with Miss Joan. Woo! Y'all check these videos out, okay?